This forest is like a black hole. It just keeps pulling us back in. But I suppose good things keep happening here. Somehow. I see you haven't changed much, Portal. Still huge and scary. You ready for weird story time? I'm ready for weird story time. Some Titan orders predate the city. Born of a darker time, when light was an untamed weapon, the Sunbreakers brought honor to the wild, never seeking the safety of the city. Bound by an oath, they live as mercenaries, seeking battles and alliances beyond the walls. Now the light of their fire has at last found rank among the city. Forge the fury of undying suns. Wield the hammer of soul with honor, Titan. It is a thing of legend, both past and future. How do I know the Sunbreakers? I fought with them at the pinnacle of the wall, shoulder to shoulder. They died right alongside us that day, for a city they felt had abandoned them. I admired that. Never thought I would see the light of the hammers in the city again. But that Guardian... That Guardian always surprises me. Hey, we've got company. Over there, another projection. The Fallen were everywhere. Lord Saladin sent a regroup order to all channels. Zavala backed him. They weren't yelling, but it made my ears ring. Their exact words, I can't remember, but Saladin and Zavala, their message was clear. All is lost. Six of us took the wall that day, against orders. One of us, a sunbreaker named Lu Feng. She wasn't even from the city. We died, and died, and died. But we had each other. And we had our light. Six of us. The wall held. Zavala and Lord Saladin made their counterattack. Zavala likes to say that survival is a temporary condition. To fight for it always. But survival is already owed to us. The collapse has come and gone and yet here we stand. It is our nature to survive. Whether we like it or not, Guardians ask me, what should we fight for? How about peace? How about a city without fear?
So Lord Saladin and Lady Ephrodite, he'll hate that I'm telling this story, but Lady Ephrodite. I like Lady Ephrodite. She tells me everything. We like our stories, and we like our helmets. So, <laughs> Ephrodite, she lives Saladin over, over her head. And she says, she <laughs> says, I never miss. She lifts him over her head and she throws him and he cranks his fist at Pavok. Their combined arc energy singing like a drawn sword 20 miles down, he plummets into a fallen walker. He's like a, like a cannon shot out of a friggin' anti-aircraft gun. Everything, everything explodes. Her ghost was laughing and she revived him. They saved a whole village of people. This was the Dark Age. They had those villages. I miss those days. I miss Lady Ephrodite. There's the shark. Did you hear that? Take it inbound. must have a little light left to give. Let's show the Taken what you've learned.
anything to stop us from leaving. Nicely done. Let's get out of here. I'm ready for a change of scenery. I don't know why the Traveler keeps choosing to grant us its powers. There must be others like us out there, fighting for what's right. <laughs> <laughs> 